The Pentagon has recently released an unprecedented report about UAPs, which stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. In this video, we will go right to the Bible to discover what could this be. Today I'm here with author and president of White Horse Media, Steve Wahlberg. And Steve, it is great to have you with us today. Yeah, thank you, Dustin. It's great to uh, do another program with you, and we're talking about a big subject. Yes, we are. And Steve, you are the author of this book, Approaching Armageddon. And can you tell us a little bit about what this book is about? Sure. The book is about all the crazy things that are happening in this world, including uh, uh, satanic phenomena and how what's happening in the world is moving us toward the big day mm -hmm. when Jesus Christ will return. And it's mm -hmm. also about how good will win over evil. So it's simple and easy for people to understand. Amen. And I've taken a look at that book. It is powerful. I highly recommend the viewers to get this book. Um, I'll have the link in the description. And also make sure that you subscribe to White Horse Media on YouTube. Uh, Steve also has a YouTube channel, a lot of powerful Bible prophecy, Bible-based content. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifications as well. Well, we are now going to get into this report. We're going to discuss the report. But this video, we will actually be giving our predictions based on the Bible about what could these, this phenomenon be in this report. And so, Steve, can you, mm. have you been able to look at the report? And I know you have because mm. you and I have been mm. discussing it. What are some of the key findings in this Pentagon report? Uh, yes, I've got it right here in my hot hands. Uh, mm. It's almost too hot to handle. Not really. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, it came out June 25, uh, mm -hmm. 2021, just a few days ago. It came from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. It is unclassified. Mm -hmm. uh, it came from the Pentagon, and it's a nine-page report of uh, over 144 uh, sightings and different uh, things that have been registered with the Pentagon mm -hmm. that they've looked at, analyzed. And it just talks about the whole issue of UFOs, uh, or now they're calling them UAPs, as you mentioned, unidentified aerial phenomena, and whether there's something going on out there. Uh, a lot of people do believe in UFOs. Uh, I read recently that a third of Americans believe and that there's something, something up there. In fact, there's a whole organization, I've got the website right here, called the SETI Institute, mm -hmm. and SETI uh, stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Yeah. It's a NASA-affiliated program yeah. based in the Silicon Valley, and it's been listening for some kind of communications up there to see if there's uh, intelligent life out there. You know, it's fascinating. Th it's fascinating stuff. Ever since <laughs> I was younger, uh, I don't tell a lot of people this, but when I was younger, I wanted to be an astronaut. And I love outer space. I love laying out in the country, looking at the stars. Mm -hmm. And this stuff fascinates me. And I think a lot of people are very interested in this report and what is happening in space. And so we want to go to the Bible. We want to see what could this be. And I've noticed when I did read the report, it didn't seem that there was much conclusive <coughs> results. It didn't seem that the government re was really able to nail down what is happening. Yeah, people have combed through this report and, and probably one of the most significant sentences is on page three, executive summary, uh, the limited amount of high quality reporting on unidentified aerial phenomena hampers our ability to draw firm conclusions about the nature or intent of UAP. So essentially they're saying, you know, we're not sure mm -hmm. uh, exactly what's going on up there. Uh, they talk about how there's, there has been a limited number of incidents mm -hmm. that exhibit unusual flight characteristics. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they're concerned about uh, the potential challenge to United States national security. Yeah. Uh, on page four, it lists that there are 144 reports that they have looked at. Wow. Uh, on a lot page, of them by the Navy, I think. Um, and, Navy. and Air Force as Air well. Air Force, yeah, yeah, Air Force, yeah. Uh, and here on page five, it says there that a handful of these appear to demonstrate advanced technology. I was very so that's interested. That's very interesting. Yeah, when I saw that, I was, inter I was very intrigued by that because, you know, there's this idea, Steve, that there's these greater beings floating around in the universe that have this advanced technology that have this higher knowledge and wisdom to give to us. And I think it's important that we know who, what is going on. 
to see are these really beings that can come down and give us this advanced knowledge. And later in this video, we're going to see biblical evidence that will help answer that question. And so I'm very excited to delve into the Bible with you and very shortly. Uh, sure. And you've probably heard reports and there's videos out there of people that have uh, apparently been abducted by yeah. aliens from spacecrafts. They've been brought into this you know, these uh, spacecrafts and they've mm -hmm. seen all kinds of things. And so there's a lot out there. And this particular report, I mean, this is from the government. Yeah. Uh, and it says here on page five and six that they, they give five major options to what these things right. are. Yeah, there's airborne clutter. That's one option. Uh, natural atmospheric phenomena, something natural that can be explained. Mm -hmm. uh, another one is possible industry development programs. And then number four is foreign adversary systems, like something coming from China or Russia. And then number five is the big one. It says uh, other, <laughs> right? Uh, which means, you know, it just it could be something that we don't understand that possibly could be connected to life out there. That's right. And that's the category that a lot of people are talking about. So right. the report doesn't confirm. Yeah, these are aliens, but it does say that it could be something else that we don't know about. That's and right. that kind of leaves the door open for some kind of supernatural phenomenon, That's as you right. mentioned. And it's significant that this is coming from the government. Uh, I've, I've watched mm -hmm. a lot of news reports, and a lot of the reports are saying that that uh, the government has now, because of the fact that this is a national conversation, the Pentagon mm -hmm. has come out with the re this report, that now it's uh, out of the sci-fi fringe mm -hmm. department, and now it's in mainstream, and at least people are talking about it. That's right. And so what you know, what I see is this: this is opening up a door. Uh, to mainstream American thinking mm -hmm. that could lead to mm -hmm. something much bigger, which, which we'll talk about. And one more thing, I thought it was significant that yeah. at the end of this report, page uh, six and seven, it mentions uh, that they want to deepen their analysis. They want to look closer, closer at these things, mm -hmm. and they want to put uh, more money into investment in mm -hmm. research and development. So yeah. there's a lot, a uh, lot going on about this, and. You know, the government has put it right on the table. It's on the national news and people yeah. are saying, you know, what's going on? And we need to look uh, closer at this. Absolutely. And one of the things you mentioned, um, I think is significant in the report. It says that UAP could, um, it said, would also represent a security challenge if they are foreign adversary collection platforms. And I believe it goes on to say, or if they are some um, other force or other being that has greater knowledge that has very high technology. And so, right. in other words, they're saying that it, it could be something more that we're not really aware of. Yeah, it's like, it reminds me of the movie Independence Day, where these yeah. aliens came down to the <laughs> earth, and then the, the President of the United States and all the nations cooperated to shoot yeah. these aliens out of the sky because they were a huge national security threat to the planet. That's and right. So, you know, movies like that are, are affecting uh, people's thinking that maybe there are uh, hostile beings out there that we need to protect ourselves from, or maybe there are uh, higher beings that are that mm -hmm. have a higher evolution that yeah. want to come down and help us to get through all of our problems and to get to the point where we're more evolved too, so we're not killing each other and right and uh, all that's, the bad things that are happening. That's a common mindset. And on that note, let's t let's now go to the Bible and. Let's see what the Bible says about those things that you were just mentioning, all these extraterrestrial beings and, you know, aliens. According to the Bible, what kind of beings are actually out there? Yeah, okay. And we're going to discuss that now. Yeah, I'd like to start with the text in the book of Revelation. Revelation's my favorite book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. I've taught about it, written about it. I read it regularly. And in chapter 5, verse 11, and John was taken into a, in a vision. Uh, into the throne room of God, way, mm. way up there. We don't know how far up, but it's a long way. And verse 11 says, John says, I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels mm. round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. And they're all saying with a loud voice, they're, they're singing, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Mm -hmm. So John is taken in vision into the throne room mm -hmm. and he sees an innumerable company of angels. He sees these other creatures which are called uh, beasts. There's four beasts around the throne 
and there's elders sitting on 24 uh, thrones and they're all singing mm -hmm. and they're singing worthy is the lamb that was slain mm -hmm. and, you know and i've thought about this the seti program i've got the website right here that yeah. that is listening for some kind of uh, uh communication possibly from outer space mm -hmm. and, and i thought that if they had powerful enough equipment mm -hmm. that they could go high enough and listen in to what's really going on up there mm -hmm. they would be hearing uh songs that's right from <laughs> angels uh, oh. who are around the throne of God yes. singing songs about Jesus Christ. Oh, I that he is worthy, that the, the Lamb is worthy. I'd love to have that CD if yeah. they could record that. <laughs> that. That would be powerful. Yeah, that would be. You know, that's interesting, Steve. So, so far what we've seen is we've seen in outer space, if you will, there are beings. And the ones that you just mentioned are heavenly beings. That's right, holy beings. They're holy beings. And they're not floating around in, in spaceships performing you know, who knows what task. Abducting people. Abducting people. They're, they're praising God. They're working for God. They have specific tasks to work for God. Now, the Bible also mentions other beings. And we're going to go now to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. And in Ephesians 6, 12, we read, it says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. And so just like the heavens or outer space has these um, heavenly beings or these righteous beings, there's also wicked beings, um, also referred to as demons. And so we do have beings in outer space, but according to the Bible, they're righteous beings and they're demons. Those are really our two options. We don't have this idea of, of aliens, of uh, E.T. or these, you know, you mentioned Star Trek, you know, some yeah, of these Klingons other things. Klingons and Vulcans <laughs> and the Cardassians and uh -huh. you know, those that are familiar with the Star Trek series. And then there's there's E.T. and there's Star Wars and, right. you know, all kinds of uh, alien creatures out there that look really strange and weird and bizarre. That's right. Uh, the Bible doesn't reveal that that's what's up there. That's right. And what's interesting is, as we mentioned, the, the holy beings, they have a very specific purpose. And by the way, holy beings have come to this earth before. A as you know, as we read in the Bible, we have examples of angels appearing on this earth. But they always have a mission. They're not abducting someone. They're not floating around in the atmosphere doing strange things. They're there to serve God. And however, on the other side, our second option, which is evil beings or demons, they do have the ability to appear as someone they are not. And I want to share a verse that shows that ability they have. That's actually 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, 14. Um, and it says, And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Verse 15, Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers, his, his demons, you, some may interpret that, also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness whose end will be according to their works. And so here we see that the devil sometimes plays by different rules. He actually has the ability to appear as someone he is not. So potentially, the devil and his beings could appear as a Klingon or an alien or some supernatural being that has this higher knowledge, quote unquote, to share with us. That's right. And that's right, and that's what, that's what, well, let me back up before, in the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. Satan did that. He actually yeah. appeared to Eve mm -hmm. through the snake mm -hmm. and offered her higher knowledge. Yes. But if we go back even beyond that in biblical history, which is also in the book of Revelation, uh, Revelation 12, verse 7, mm. says there was war in heaven. Mm. A and this is how we can understand the big picture and the, what's happening in the universe from from the biblical perspective. It says there was war in heaven. Uh, there was a battle between God and holy angels against Satan called the dragon who fought with his angels. And verse 9, Revelation 12, 9 says the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. It was the serpent who deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. And then it says uh, Satan who deceives the whole world, he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Mm -hmm. So we saw from Revelation chapter 5 that there's 10,000 times 10,000s and thousands of thousands of, mm -hmm. of holy angels right. loyal 
to God. Mm -hmm. And then this verse tells us that Satan and his angels were cast out. Mm -hmm. So it all started with a, with a cosmic conflict between mm -hmm. uh, Lucifer who rebelled against God and took a third of the holy angels with him and they became evil angels. There was a war, uh, Satan and his angels lost mm -hmm. and they were cast out of heaven. They came down to this world. They deceived, uh, or Satan deceived Eve in the garden, and that brought humanity into sin. Mm -hmm. And then from that point all the way down to today, we've been in a battle between the forces of God and the devil, good yes. angels, bad angels. Mm -hmm. And uh, Satan can definitely, as you mentioned, appear as someone that he's not. Uh, yes. He can appear as an alien. He can appear as... Uh, as Jesus himself, mm -hmm. uh, he can appear in many different ways. That's and right. we need to look at, you know, is, is this Pentagon report and the consciousness of UFOs that is growing in our society mm -hmm. right now, is that preparing the way for some major satanic uh, delusion yes. where Satan and his angels are going to impersonate uh, beings that claim to be of a higher intelligence to yeah. help humani humanity evolve? I'm so glad you mentioned that, Steve, because we need to know the context that we are living in. We are in a battle, like you said, between good and evil. That's right. And so there's a lot at stake. And it is very reasonable to think that Satan would have these, his demons, his beings, appear as an alien or someone they are not. Because people in this world are looking for answers. They are wanting to know, why is all this happening? You know, is there a greater force out there that can help me understand? And so this would really be a prime time for the devil to use a strategy like this. And at this time, we're going to actually discuss what could this be? You know, the Pentagon report was inconclusive. It said it could be this, it could be this, it could be that. What do we think it will be? And it's not really important what our opinion is. According to the Bible, what could these beings be? And so we have some verses we want to look at. I want to start off um, with Revelation chapter 13 and 14. And we're going to look at what the Bible says will happen in the last days. And that will help guide our analysis of this report of what these beings could be. Uh, Revelation 13, 14, we read, And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. And so the context of this verse, this is the, um, the second beast of Revelation 13. And we have a video on that on hope through prophecy. Steve, you talk a lot about that in your books and your mm -hmm. videos. Um, but essentially, this is going to be one of the end time powers depicted in the Bible. And this verse is saying that this power which is being given its power by Satan himself, will actually perform miracles. Great, great, great wonders. And great wonders. If you go back to verse 13, it says, mm -hmm. He does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Yes. So we, we don't, we're, we're looking at a prediction of some kind of major satanic, supernatural mm -hmm. Uh, manifestation that mm -hmm. has to do with the heavens and yes. things coming down from the heavens to the earth. Mm -hmm. And then it says in verse 14 that people are deceived by these miracles. So I yes. think Satan has many tricks uh, up his sleeve. Absolutely. And, you know, there's many of them, and one of them could mm -hmm. be uh, a satanic impersonation mm -hmm. of uh, some kind of a being coming from from outer space, yes. from another world, coming down here to try to help humanity reach a higher level of consciousness. It's very possible and it's very reasonable. And God has given us these warnings for a reason. He wants us to know the devil has these abilities. So if something would happen, then we can know. You know, we can be able to decipher it and say, well, God warned us. And I believe you were mentioning a verse um, also in Revelation. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe in chapter 16. Right, you chapter to 16, share. verse uh, 14. It says, They are the spirits of devils working miracles, and they go forth to the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. Mm -hmm. And verse 16 calls that 
great battle Armageddon. That's one mm -hmm. of the reasons why I wrote my book, Approaching Armageddon. And verse 14, leading to verse 16, describes these uh, devils, these demons who are going out all around the world. Mm -hmm. They're doing miraculous things. Mm -hmm. When people see those miracles, they, they don't know they're demons, but they are demons behind the scene doing miracles to deceive people, to gather humanity to ultimately fight against God. Mm -hmm. And I could certainly see the possibility that in, uh, in Satan's uh, bag of tricks, you know, that this would include mm -hmm. supernatural manifestations, not only of, of dead people claiming that these people have come back to life, yes. uh, but also of aliens and space beings, because our world is, you know, we've seen, people have seen so many Hollywood movies about, uh, you know, going where no man has gone before yes. and seeing all these different creatures that are out there, mm -hmm. you know, the public mind has been stirred and now the Pentagon report is inconclusive right. and it shows that there are some things we don't understand yeah. and these are cracks in the door of the public mind yes. that the devil can go right through yeah. with his evil angels impersonating aliens Absolutely. to trick people to lead them away from Jesus and the Bible. Yeah, it's very plausible. Um, everything you've mentioned, and we know that, and that's not your opinion. This is the Word of God, that's and you're right. simply interpreting the Bible saying this this will happen, that's and right. this, what we're seeing in this report, potentially could be an example of that. Um, there's another verse, a last verse I want to share briefly, Second Thessalonians 2, 9. It goes along with what you were saying. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders. Um, so just another verse that affirms that in the last days, the devil will use um, miraculous signs to deceive the world. And so, who, what, what could this be? You know, looking at this report, we've, we've given some options so far. We've talked about um, holy angels are in heaven. And could, could it be the holy angels? Could it be any of the heavenly beings that people are seeing? No, the, the holy angels are not going to appear to people mm -hmm. as aliens from other planet. Right. Uh, they're going to, sometimes they take on the form of humans, mm -hmm. or sometimes they appear as angels. We see That's this right. all throughout the Bible. Yes. But, but we, we're, we're not looking for, and the Bible does not teach, mm -hmm. that these good angels mm -hmm. are going to appear as some kind of alien alien life force now, but we can certainly see how Satan could be preparing the world through movies, Hollywood, sure. through this Pentagon report, at least opening the crack of the door. The government's now discussing it. It's part of the national conversation. That's right. It's on the news, it's on CNN, and the major yeah. networks are discussing this, and I see the real possibility mm -hmm. that this is part of a, of a major, you know, that the devil can take advantage of all of this. Absolutely. And this interest to prepare the way for some grand delusion. Absolutely, and, and we should you know, also make a point to say, this could be a, a false flag, this could be a false alarm. You know, it could be, you know, the report was saying it could be foreign or domestic uh, military operations, it could right. be an optical yes. illusion. Space clutter, who knows. Space clutter, you know, and so that's, that's a very likely possibility, it's possible. Um, we just wanna make the point that this is not these aliens from other worlds. Right. If it is indeed supernatural, let's say for the sake of argument that it's not space clutter or optical illusions. Or China or, or Russia. Or China or Russia or something. If it is something supernatural, really our only option remaining is, is fallen angels, is, is Satan's evil angels. Um, exactly, and if we have mm. a biblical perspective, yes, and that's the problem, that's what's scary, is that most people don't read their Bibles, mm -hmm. so they have no clue, and it's yeah. something, you know, if some space being appears, or, or somebody who died comes back, you know, this mm -hmm. ghost or that works through a medium or a channel or something like that, people, you know, they see this and they think, it must be true. This must be my long lost Uncle Bob or Aunt Sue, right. or it must be some space being from outer space trying to guide me to a higher consciousness. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're just wide open to being deceived if yes. they don't know what the Bible says about the battle between good and evil mm -hmm. and what's in the invisible world, the good mm -hmm. angels and the evil angels and the Holy Spirit trying to lead us to the Bible to help us to know the truth. Amen. And I'm so glad you mentioned that, Steve, because the way that we can be safe, the way that we can be protected in these last days, the way that we can know if an angel is good or evil is, is by this book right here, The Word of God. 
And right. this is our benchmark. This is our standard. And the Bible says if there's any being, any person, any being, or what have you, that speaks anything against this word, that it's not from God. And so that is one of our you know, principles we really want to instill with all of our viewers, is know your Bible. Study your Bible. Know the author of the Bible. Know Jesus. Let him be your best friend. And really, that is a focus of, of your channel, White Horse Media. Um, that is a focus of, of our channel, Hope Through Prophecy. And so that is our hope for all of you, is know your Bible. You can decipher truth from error. Now, Steve, I, I believe you were discussing, and the Bible discusses, there is an unidentified flying object, according to the Bible, or you could say an unidentified aerial phenomenon. Yeah, it'll be unidentified for a while. Okay. Uh, as it's coming down. Okay. But when it gets close enough, mm -hmm. there'll be no mistaking it. And w uh, what is that? And, and what yeah, I'd like to read that from, okay. from the words of Jesus, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ himself. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 30, he said, Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And the phrase Son of Man is, is a phrase Jesus used to apply to himself because mm -hmm. he, became, he became a human being when he was born through Mary. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his, his angels, these are the loyal angels, mm -hmm. with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Mm. So this is one of many descriptions in the mm. New Testament of the return of Jesus Christ. And I can imagine that when he first, when that small cloud appears on the distant skies yes. and it starts getting closer and closer, people are going to, they're not going to know what it is. They're going to yeah. wonder, is this uh, an alien A you know, UFO? from another planet? Yeah, NASA <laughs> will probably pick it up with its telescope and the cloud and the this group of holy angels mm. will get closer and closer and closer. And finally, it says all the people of the earth will mourn wow. because they will see, they'll know. Yes. It's not a, it's not an airplane. It's not a, uh, an alien. Mm. Uh, it is Jesus Christ himself who is That's coming right. back to earth, who is returning uh, mm. in great glory to gather his people and take them to heaven. Amen. So that's what the Bible says, and that's what we're looking forward to. Amen. Amen. That is the great event that we are here to look forward to. And friends, we want to be ready for that event. Yes, these things are intriguing. It's, it's cool to read about the Pentagon report and to wonder what could this be. But ultimately, we want to be ready for that event, the soon return of King Jesus. And I hope that you can go to the Bible, you can see that these beings are not some sort of alien being. Um, if they are supernatural, they are not from God. And so we have to know our Bibles, be grounded in the Word of God, and be prepared for His soon coming. And that is my hope for all of you. And Steve, it has been great to be with you here today. I thank you for joining us. Sure, thank you. And friends, I hope that you can continue to keep your eyes on Jesus, the author the finisher of our faith. And friends, if this video has been helpful, please make sure to like it, share it, and also click the bell icon and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to check out our other videos on this channel as well. May God bless you.